I took a look at what I knew from my father's side. What I knew was that my dad passed away 15 years prior when I was pregnant with my first son. And I knew that he had died from something related to pancreatic. I really didn't absorb the information at the time. I just grieved um, a father that I didn't know well. Hearing the word cancer brought tremendous fear at first. At 46 years old, why should I have breast cancer? And I was really in disbelief. Why me? I live a blessed life and I exercise, I eat well. I think we associate cancer with death and right away it's you're wondering, am I gonna survive this? And, and what does this mean for my family and my future? I mean, as a woman, I think a lot of times uh, you do worry about breast cancer because it is very prevalent, as we know. Um, but uh, yeah, again, I've never had an issue with the mammogram. So I thought it didn't even enter my brain that something could be there. Sometimes cancer can run in families due to inherited mutations in genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2. If we can identify people who have inherited an increased risk for cancer, steps can be taken towards early detection and even cancer prevention. Sometimes people seek genetic counseling because they've been diagnosed with cancer and they want to know if their cancer could be genetic. Other times people seek genetic counseling because they have several relatives with cancer and they wonder how this history could affect their own risk to develop cancer. So much about everything that's happened, I have said many times, you can't make this stuff up. The coincidences, I don't believe they were coincidences, how everything happened and transpired. And I truly believe that my cancer, the information was the missing link for my family. Eileen said from the beginning, she knew I would help people through this. Little did she know, yeah, would she be would be me. one. Many people grow up in a single parent home and it's something that you get used to. You know, you think, oh, I'm missing, you know, a birthday card or this, you know, I'm, you recognize the, the daily things that you miss, but I don't think that you would think about, well, I'm missing my family health history from that side of the family. The family history on both sides of the family is important to consider because genetic mutations that can increase the risk for cancer can be passed on from the mother or the father. And it may not always be obvious what cancers are connected. For example, breast, prostate, ovarian, and pancreatic cancers can be connected due to inherited mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. Mutations in other genes may cause a higher risk for other types of cancer. For instance, colon and uterine cancer can be connected due to a genetic cause. So my dad, Charlie, had prostate cancer and it was very aggressive and it ended up going to his bones after 10 years. And my uncle Werner had prostate cancer, melanoma, and stomach cancer. There have probably been between 15 and 20 tested for the mutation. And I would say half that have been tested positive. The, the knowing that I have that, that gene, uh, yeah, it has affected how I'm being treated. In some cases, for people facing a cancer diagnosis, information discovered from genetic testing can help guide cancer treatment. The results may be helpful for deciding what surgery is best or may open up opportunities for targeted chemotherapies. Genetic testing can also alert people that they may have a higher risk to develop a second cancer. For family members who have not had cancer, genetic testing can provide knowledge of increased risk and this can give opportunities for early detection when cancer is most treatable or even can allow for cancer prevention. When Janet and I found out we had it, and knew it came, came down on my dad's side, the shelter side. It, but I remember telling Janet, you know, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change my dad or my family for anything. And even though it's kind of a, a little hiccup, it's a lot of families have it. I've never heard that the male cancers could be linked to female cancers. I had no idea and I just wish that somebody would have told me that. The general public just doesn't have that information and doesn't know, and it could really save lives. If you have a little something that might say, you know, this is, this is too much cancer in my family, or that, that person was too young, um, then I would really encourage you to think about seeing a genetic counselor.
and talking through your risk factors. I think for us, it's like if you can catch anything early and, and deal with it early, it's the outcome is so much better. You have this information so you can make the decisions. Instead of having cancer make the decisions for you, you can choose to make the decisions.